We completely agree with the Select Committee's report. It's something we've been calling for for a while. We think the building safety crisis is inadequate, it's unfair to rule out hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people from help. It's, it's just not the best way to deal with this problem. Now, your building has Grenfell-style cladding and other defects, and despite all the assurances from government, you're already having to, to foot the bill for the repairs. We've been told, essentially, the, the full project costs. We've been told half of it will be funded by the government. The work's actually started a couple of weeks ago, so I, I think they're just doing the work that's already funded by government first. So we've still got potentially five, six million to pay for works out about £20,000 per leaseholder. That is an awful lot of money for anyone. Now, the government is talking about a levy for a tax and also getting the construction industry to foot the bill. But there's still no timetable. What does it mean for you and the others stuck in unsafe buildings? Yeah, so the government's finally decided to levy the developers, levy the construction industry, but it, they're not going at all far enough. They're saying they're going to raise £2 billion over 10 years, first they're going to consult with the construction industry about how much they should raise, which is seems quite farcical to me. And the main thing is the loan scheme that they've said that that's going to be in place of even buildings under 18 metres. Robert Jenrick announced that nearly three months ago and said there'd be more details in the budget. No one knows how it's going to work, where it's going to sit, how it's going to be paid back. It, it's just a failed solution already and they just need to completely rethink the whole approach. Now, the repairs could run into many billions. Is there any sign that the building industry is prepared to pay its fair share? A lot of the developers are saying, oh, we're contributing, we're helping out. But the amount they're actually contributing is, is in the tel tens of millions, which it sounds a lot of money, but the actual scale of the problem means that they need to actually put their hands in the pockets and actually stump up a lot more cash. Because right now, all the money that they're actually going to give it's all brand marketing, really. We, we feel that this is probably the most important issue that there is out there. You've got hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people affected by it. And we're all just desperate. We all just need help. Giles Grover from the Manchester Gladiators, thanks for talking to us tonight.